presenting four layer folio cake. Little Billy Folio will introduce you to how I understand the first folio. Understanding Shakespeare isn't that hard. We use most of the words in these books anyways. More than 400 new words were introduced or invented in his plays and poems. He also gave us many phrases we use today. That's what makes his writing so easy. These top Shakespearean scholars will sadly never know the true beauty and profundity of the writing they love so much. Because they do not accept that there's something wrong with their attribution. By dismissing the need to know the real author's biography, they offer the world something bland, like these soda crackers. We don't even get any cheese to put on top of them. Their insistence that doubters are wrong, or worse, insane, prevents students from eating even the equivalent of trail mix in their classes. The death of the author strategy for literary studies has doomed them to the most tasteless food, like baked potatoes with nothing on them. Shakespearean studies has become one-dimensional and lacks real flavor. Eating anything other than what they feed you has become forbidden, as explained in this great book, Shakespeare Was a Woman and Other Heresies by Elizabeth Winkler. Links to purchase the book are found in the description. Imagine you want a pizza with lots of toppings at Shays Shakespeare. This is what you ordered. Note the color, the different textures. This is what you got. All cheese, no topping. I'm sure you would be much happier with this, with all the different toppings. Let's get to dessert. I think of the folio like a four-layered cake. Each layer represents a deeper level of meaning. The icing, the first thing that we see, is the dialogue and stage directions. Layer 2 represents the layer of puzzles and clues which are erased in modern editions of the works because they ignore many uppercase letters and they certainly reset the type differently. Only the original typesetting, spelling differences, and layout will do. Layer 3 has allusions to the real writer's life. This can be seen in the plays as written. You don't need to have a facsimile of the first folio to understand it. Plays such as Hamlet contain so many allusions and so many parallels that we could devote entire videos and long hours to discuss them. Layer 4 might be references to Rosicrucian ideas as John Anthony and Nobody Oxfordian have discovered. The plays were carefully written to conceal the second to fourth layers. But not every play has the same amount of personal illusions. Not every play has the same amount of topical illusions. But there is a guarantee that one or more deeper layers will be present somewhere in the text. Knowing who the real author was makes it easier to separate each layer from the others. That is because we have a pretty complete biography of the man. And we don't have to guess so much what is hiding in the text. To me, 
the folio is like a four-layer cake. I say nobody has a monopoly on reading Shakespeare. Remember that we use most of the words anyway. So, would you rather have cake? Or the bland diet served up by scholars who sadly will never know the full flavor of the writing they love so much? They wrongly attribute the plays to a man from Stratford. But, Edward de Vere, the 17th Earl of Oxford, was Shakespeare. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.